It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So yesterday the battery ran out while I was doing the episode, and right at the end too. So then when I got into work, I couldn't upload the episode. So I found a wireless signal that I can use, and I think it's my neighbor's. It's pretty fast, but I wouldn't use it to play poker because you just never know. You don't want to spend four hours in a tournament and then you've made the final table and you're going to win tons of money and then the connection drops you and you start posting and folding. And it's like you'd think, well, hey, at least I cashed, but it's you've used a lot of energy and you haven't done the, you haven't fulfilled your potential to its utmost ability. Although I guess technically there's only one way you can fulfill your potential and that's all the way, otherwise you have underachieved. So there's really no middle ground there. You've either underachieved or you've fulfilled your potential. You really can't overachieve because if you were capable of doing it, then you've achieved what you can do. Overachieving is like 110%. It's impossible. But, you know, it sounds really good and you say things like, oh, well, the Washington Redskins are a bunch of overachievers. And no, they just didn't realize that they were that good. Or everyone they played against underachieved. It's all semantics anyway. If everyone just did the best they could all the time, then there'd be nobody to work at McDonald's. Let's not get into Omaha again. Unless it's Omaha High Low. Oh yeah. So, uh, I've got the neighbors wireless. I'm supposed to get a phone call today about my own phone line and hopefully that'll get fixed. And then I will have my own wireless and that'll be exciting. And the storm of the year is coming on tomorrow, and apparently it's going to be the biggest storm in two years, which means you might get a whole inch of rain. Yeah, you know, I know why a lot of people hate California, and it's because, you know, we're so pompous about our weather. And I'm not going to disagree with that. I mean, I know we're really full of ourselves. Our weather kicks ass, you know. If I didn't like it, I'd leave. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, and that's why they're not here. That's why it's so expensive to buy a place like this. But it's okay. It's all relative. I probably wouldn't make this much money if I worked some, doing this somewhere else too. So it's all units. It's all units. Savannah the cat is now walking around from room to room, although I don't see her right now. But uh, she's much more comfortable with the layout than she was when she was new. So she's happy to be home, and that's the important thing because it's always about the cat. You know that. And. Yesterday was the first day back at work and my boss came to the office and I was like, oh no, I hope it's not a New Year's resolution that he comes into the office every day. Well, I guess we'll see. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at Joel